Well, many in the Houston community are standing with Israel. Yeah, tonight a service was held at Living Hope Church on Fuqua Street in Southeast Houston. KPRC 2's Candace Burns was there and she joins us now live. Candace, what were those in attendance saying tonight? We'll keep this service wrapped up about 930. Uh, organizers here were encouraging people to remember those suffering in Israel, to keep their stories alive and to speak up on their behalf. A prayer for Israel. And to this may we all say, Amen. A gathering in solidarity with the Jewish community. Terrorist attacks atrocities like the ones we've, we've seen cannot, cannot, cannot be justified. It's okay to be angry when evil rises up and the innocent are slaughtered and this must end. For the, this um, Jewish community, um, what's going on right now in Israel is not a remote war in the other side of the globe. This is very real. Everybody in this community has a close connection to Israel. Yafit Bar, a Houstonian, shared her story of loss. My brother was a hero. My brother is a hero. She says her brother, a 53-year-old retired Israeli soldier, was murdered after he selflessly rushed to aid civilians during the attack on Israel. <laughs> Tonight, still grieving, she joined the community's plea for peace and an end to the violence. We don't want anyone to die, really anyone, for many side, for many side, it shouldn't happen. Church leaders at Living Hope are asking people not to turn a blind eye and if they're willing to pray for Israel. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, Candace Burns, KPRC2 News.